Hello everyone, I haven't done one of these in a long time, but I bought four records related to this band uh, recently, so I thought that this would be a good opportunity to tell you about this band uh, who I've had a long uh, connection with and uh, I've had it, had its ups and downs with it. Uh, I was introduced to this band uh, late uh, 89 or uh, early 1990 when my brother bought this their debut EP. This is Francine, Shake My Bones. This is a 4-track EP, really good traditional uh, rockabilly. Uh, this one here is the uh, bassist and main songwriter Pete Saloma. Uh, this one here is the drummer Tude Usvala. That is the lead vocalist and guitarist Mika Jokinen. And uh, that one I actually only know his first name. His name uh, is Jari. He played acoustic guitar because uh, he left the band soon after this and here in the back sleeve they are only introduced by their first name. Uh, after this they were always a three piece with one exception but I will get back to that later on. Uh, 1990 they released their first album, 1991 they released their second album. I heard those albums and I liked them but I didn't get any more deeper into them at the time. Uh, it was in 1992, uh, 7th of March 1992 actually my brother told me that there was a new club which uh, arranged uh, gigs for these uh, 50s type bands. Uh, at that point I only had seen uh, Stray Cats, Robert Gordon and uh, a Finnish band called uh, Whistlebait. So uh, I, I hadn't really started going to see these type of bands. But uh, with the, this club which was called Parisitar, a Parisian, uh, later on it turned its name into Cafe 52. They arranged a lot of these gigs uh, they had practically every weekend, every Friday, every Saturday, they had gigs there. And whenever I went there, it was always full. It was a, a small club, very small club, maybe like 80 people could fit in there, but it was always full. And I saw a lot of great gigs there. But yeah, in 1992, they released their third album, A Piece of Noise, Noise which uh, in my opinion is their masterpiece. Uh, I love every single song here and they started expanding their musical uh, palette here. Uh, this one includes a, a little bit of a jazz, a little bit of blues, uh, there's different kind of moods within these songs and they started introducing uh, different instruments, there's harmonica, there's uh, accordion, there's organ, there's trumpet. So yeah, this was a, a huge step forward and years later I heard that they felt like they were uh, like hitting their head on a wall which I believe that they meant that they, uh, they weren't getting any further with their popularity because they weren't a popular band at all. Uh, so in 1993 they made a big announcement that they wouldn't be performing under the name of Francine anymore but they would uh, change uh, into Finnish and uh, perform under the name of Pääis into it, which translates as headliners. And uh, at the time it wasn't told, but the main reason for it was that uh, the vocalist uh, had gotten tired of the touring and was uh, thinking of quitting. So uh, with the change uh, into Finnish language, uh, it was like uh, something new. And also they were hoping that they would uh, like break onto the next level, but that didn't work out. Uh, if anything, it was even less uh, popular. Uh, I managed to see them once. They actually only played a few gigs with that. And uh, in 1994, they, uh, I saw them as a four piece. And this time it was the original three and the guy who would replace the vocalist. So they played the gig with the original vocalist and with the new vocalist. Uh, during the next uh, few years, uh, I did uh, continue going to see them. I, I heard the album that they made with the new lineup, which was a big departure. Uh, it was very different style. They, it was much more uh, harder, it's mo uh, much more fast pace, uh, pace. And it was a big shock to me at the time, but I did enjoy them. And in early 1999 uh, was the beginning of uh, us traveling, going to see them in different towns. I, I ha had already seen them in a couple of different towns, but the early 1990 was like the beginning of a period, uh, almost six years period, uh, from early 1999 to uh, end of 2004, when we traveled a lot to see them in different towns. Uh, 
the uh, in 1999 they released the Playmate, which is my second favorite or co-favorite album, and the release of this one was the like the true mark. Uh, after this, we traveled like uh, whenever we had the chance, I, I, and I don't make, want to make it sound like we traveled all the time, which isn't the case at all. But whenever we had a chance, we traveled to different towns to see them, which is the reason why I have seen Francine in more different towns than any other band. I've seen them in 11 different towns and a few of those towns I have seen them uh, several times. During this period they also released the uh, next album Full Ahead, which I think also think is a great album. And also they released Level 8. Uh, Level 8 was all, again again step uh, more into uh, hard rock the guitars are more raw, raw sounding, uh, uh, they're more loud, drums are more louder. And uh, yeah, uh, this w just wasn't as good album. Uh, I wasn't disappointed to, in, in this album at the time. Uh, but yeah, it's clear that this isn't as good album as the, uh, as the previous two albums. But it wasn't uh, the disappointment uh, in this album. I, I thought it was a good album. I still think it's a good album, just not as good as those. Uh, what got to me was the traveling to go see them in different towns. Uh, by the time that this, this album was released, uh, I had gotten tired of it. I, I just became more and more reluctant travel, traveling to see them in different towns. And I remember that uh, the more the feeling grew, it, it became like, I was like, do we fucking have to go to the yet another town to see them? But once we got to the gig, I, I did actually enjoy them. It, it was just the traveling that I was just so tired of. I just didn't want to travel anymore. And at the end of 2004, we were again in a different town seeing them. And it was a, at a club where we already had been twice before. And after the gig, the other guy started complaining how, okay, it was a good gig, but it was a wrong venue for them to perform. Uh, and uh, I just lost it and I started yelling at them that uh, that's it, no more, we are not going to travel, no, never again would see them. And it was the last time uh, for uh, 13 years that I saw them outside of my hometown. Uh, after that incident, uh, I did keep on uh, watching their gigs here in my hometown whenever they happened to perform here, uh, which wasn't uh, often because they were never popular here in my town. Uh, but uh, for example, I bought this album one step further. Uh, this was like a symptomatic of my relationship with the band. When I bought this, I, I like this. Uh, I still think the songs like I Don't Give a Damn and Rude are really good songs. Uh, never Grow Up is a good one. But the, the more I listen to this, the less I liked it. I just I just got tired and tired. I haven't listened to this one in ages. Uh, and same happened with the gigs. Whenever I saw them, I, I thought that, okay, good gig, but I just got less and less interested in. And so in 2011, I saw them again. And, and after that gig, I remember thinking that that was the last time. I'm not going to see them anymore. I just didn't have any more interest. I thought it was a good gig. But that's it. It was just a good gig. It, it didn't give me any special feelings. And uh, soon thereafter, I actually heard that the drummer uh, drummer had left the band. And to me, his uh, drumming style was very, very big part of the band. So I thought that, okay, that's just feeding. Uh, no more reason to go see them anymore. But uh, as the years went on, uh, I started becoming interested in uh, seeing them and hearing uh, how how much the change of drummers uh, will affect their sound. Uh, and over the years there was a, a couple of uh, possibilities of going to see them, but uh, I didn't go see them until at the end of 2017 when they had their 30th anniversary gig in their hometown. And once again I traveled to see them there. Uh, I thought it was a good gig, uh, uh, difference between, between the drummers. Yeah, I thought it was big, but uh, it was, again, it was the feeling to me that, okay, I'm glad I saw them, but uh, it just like uh, reinforced the feeling that 
I don't have to see them anymore. Uh, let's jump uh, back to 2003. They had a side project called Goofy and Gamblers, and this one uh, included the uh, bassist Peter Salomaa, the original vocalist Mika Jokinen, and the current vocalist Anna Kukkola, and also a drummer who was not Francine related. A really good seven song mini album. Uh, band lasted for two years. They didn't play a lot of gigs. Uh, I managed to see them three times. There are similarities to Francine, but also uh, stuff that doesn't sound like Francine at all. Uh, really good band, sadly, short lived a project. Uh, but uh, yeah, again, uh, like I said at the end of 2017, I thought that that, that was it. So I was very surprised uh, this uh, spring when I heard that they were going to return to Pää esiintyjät. Uh, this time uh, it's a different lineup. There is a new drummer, uh, there's bassist uh, Pete Saloma and the original vocalist Mika Jokinen, who this time is only a guitarist and backing vocalist, and they have a new lead vocalist Vesa Haaja, uh, who has worked in many, 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 many bands. And, uh, yeah, they released this uh, uh, EP. Uh, originally, they, really, uh, they released these four songs uh, only on to internet, but they released this uh, CD EP, uh, which was only available at their gigs. And we traveled to another town uh, to see them, which uh, at the time I thought it was there, was the second most northern town where I have seen gigs. Uh, I have been to a lot more northern towns, but it was the second most northern town where I have seen gigs. Uh, after the gig, I checked it and it turned out to be the fifth most northern town where I have seen. But yeah, I enjoyed this very much. And if uh, there's a possibility, I will go to see them again. And also this year they released Playmate on a vinyl, which just gives me the even more stronger feeling that me and Francine will cross paths at some point again. Okay, uh, that's it for this time. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Bye.